Okay, welcome back. For part four of this series, the crash course, we're going to talk through tracking materials using our transparency tracker. So going into the project, we're going to look at uh, a list of all the products in the project. We're going to go up here to the transparency tracker in the top left corner. And while this generates, what this is doing is pulling in all the materials. You'll see here we've only got one set up for the transparency tracker. So we're going to go to change mode. We're going to use all eligible products. That's going to allow us to show all the attributes of these products and then add them to the transparency tracker. Hit continue. It's going to generate that list. and This may take a moment depending on the number of products you have in your project. We'll have three tabs similar to what we've seen on some of the lead version 4 things. This is going to go into um, life cycle impact, health impacts, and sustainability. So now we've got the list. We've got 184 products. So I'm going to go through one of these. And I can sort by different categories you'll see here at the top. So looking at this category, we've got a number of products over 21 products. I can sort and bring those all to the top. And what we want to do here is all the ones marked in red are not currently actively being tracked. So I'm going to go through this. And over on the left, I can check the boxes. And as I check each individual, they'll turn green. And then we're going to go up to the top under Actions once the ones we've selected are checked off. And we're going to add them to the Transparency Tracker. So I'll just pick a few more in here. Looks like I've got just a few left. Okay. And that top one's already included. Go to Actions. Go to Add to Tracker. At the bottom you'll see Transparency Tracker. It'll take all those products and move them into the tracker so we can change that view back when we're done. So again, give it a moment. It'll generate. You'll see the confirmation at the top. The 24 products have been added in. So let's go do this and do this for a different column now. We'll go into uh, potentially the uh, the health tab and see some of the information in there. And it's nice Green Wizard's giving you these features. We can go back and forth so we don't have to see all the products. We can just see ones of certain interest. So we can go in here and see uh, the number of products. We could potentially, you know, red list chemicals or something else. You'll see the total number that qualify at the bottom. And then we can sort and bring them up to the top. So we'll set that off. You'll see all the uh, information here listed. And you'll see anything in white is already part is a uh, is already part of it, and red is missing. So we'll go over here again. We'll check a, a group. Simply go on. You can add all if everything meets your criteria. There is a select all at the top, which you could use. Go to actions again. Add a product tracker. And again, we're going to go use the last option, which is the transparency tracker. So going in there, give it a second, you'll get again a confirmation. 13 products have been added to the tracker. And that'll regenerate this uh, this same view that we've been looking at. All right, and the third option is the sustainability tab. Again, these are all different criteria depending on what it is you're interested in, what values you're most uh, you know specifically looking for, the goals to meet your projects. So sustainability reporting, corporate sustainability reports, we can click, you can see the, the total number at the bottom, or click and sort to the top. So there's three of them have been included in previous um, criteria, but there's two that have not. So we're going to check those, and again, repeat that same action. Add to tracker, transparency, hit add. So that'll take a second, you'll get a great confirmation at the top. Now what I'm going to do here is I can go here and change the mode back so I don't have to look at the entire list and I can just look at what we're calling the normal view. This is a select view from what you've pulled in to show exactly what is being tracked in this particular view. Now what's also nice is what we're going to show you here is you'll see here's all the products. Again, all those same sort functions. But we also have the ability to go in here and export this information out. So this can be shared with your team. Again, you can see the same tabs. It's just showing a select view of what we have included. And then we go over here, and um, we're going to, at the very top there, it says export. What that's going to do is export your product list. It's going to take a moment to generate this, and it's going to pull it down into an Excel spreadsheet into something we've, uh, very similar to what you're looking at on the screen. So let me see if I can get that to same in the same. So this is a same information in an Excel format that you guys can then share, discuss with team members, invite others to, to work on. Also a point of reference is kind of a um, any point in time you can generate these Excel lists and see exactly what products were included or whatnot. It's a good data resource. You'll see the same tabs at the bottom, the life cycle impact, the health impacts, the transparency impacts. And let me just zoom in a little bit more on some of these so you can see a little bit better. 
So some of those key features, hope that's helpful. Wanted to go through a little bit of what this feature can do, and this is obviously very flexible and very customizable depending on what your project needs are. But having all those features, you can also export all the documents, the same as what we've done with some of the other trackers in previous sessions. All right, that covers this, and we'll, part, we'll jump into uh, step five, or uh, part five of the series very shortly.